Hippity hop, hippity hop, hippity hop, hop without stop, racing around over the ground. Hippity 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 hop. I'm just a rabbit, and it's a habit chasing all over the place this way. When it's a habit, and you're a rabbit, this is the way you find to play. Hippity hop, hippity hop, hippity hop, hop without stop, racing around over the ground. Hippity hip. Chasing all over the place this way. When it's a habit and you're a rabbit, this is the way you find to play. Hippity hop, hippity hop, hippity hop, hop without stop. Racing around over the ground. Hippity 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 hop. It wasn't long before all the contestants had gathered at the starting line. Owl had kept his promise. There was a huge red and gold sign reading. Thumper's Great Race, but it also had on it in very big letters, W O Owl, Official and Judge. Just about everyone in the forest was there. All the proud parents and grandparents and uncles and aunts of the runners had come to see their favorites win the great race. To start things off, wise old Owl made a speech. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It is indeed a privilege for me to address you on this auspicious occasion. I wish he wouldn't use such big words. We are today inaugurating an Olympic Games type of competition in the forest, open to all its inhabitants to enter, and named in honor of the present champion and fastest animal in his class, Thumper Rabbit. Hooray for Thumper Rabbit! I thought he'd never get to it. Wise old owl. Some of the younger ones may not understand you. You'd better tell them it's just a race. Oh yes, yes indeed. It's a race, and the entries are as follows: numbers one through four, the raccoon quadruplets. They will run together, holding to tails. Number five is Flower the skunk. He will run backwards. Number six is George the Gopher. He will run underground in his tunnel, which parallels the main course. What does parallel mean? It means to run alongside.、Uh, number seven will be Toby Tortoise, and he will have a very long head start. Last but not least will be number eight, Thumper Rabbit. With his smallest brother Floppy riding on his back. Floppy, you hold on tight and don't give me any trouble. My good friend Bambi will be assistant judge and will patrol the course to see that all is fair. Thank you, wise old owl. I will do what I can. Good. Now is everyone ready? One for the money, two for the show. Three to get ready and four to go. So they were all off with a rush, and before you could say Jack Robinson, they were out of sight around a bend in the racecourse, which Wise Old Owl had marked off through the woods. Some of the spectators were disappointed at not seeing more of the race, but Owl told them that he had laid out a circular course, and that the finish line was the same as the starting line, so that all could see the most important part. Who was to win? After a few minutes, I ran off down the course to see that all was well. It wasn't long until I heard a great underground commotion. Seven sapphires. These silly stones are in my way. Guess, guess I'll have to go topside and see the lay of the land. Just then, up popped Gopher's head from a new little opening he had made. Bambi, glad to see you. I run into a serious situation down below. Stone landslides block my tunnel, and I guess I'll have to give up the race. That's trouble with subterranean speedways. No, George. Since I'm a judge, I'll allow you to run on the surface until you're past the stone slide. Then you can dig down and start running again. Gee, thanks, thanks, sir, assistant judge. Got a skedaddle. Bye. <laughs>
A little farther on down the race course, I met the raccoon quads. They weren't running at all. They were standing around in a little group, arguing at the top of their voices as to whom should be the leader. I'm the biggest, one said. I'm older, said another. I'm the youngest, so I should be first, said the third. I'm in between, said number four. I never get to do anything. After listening for a moment, I suggested that they take turns being leader and get back in the race, which they promptly did. As I went farther down the path, I began to worry. I didn't see Flower anywhere. Then suddenly I heard my name called. It was Flower, and he was half hidden in a beautiful clump of flowers alongside the race course. I just couldn't resist. If I had been running frontwards, I would have gone past these beautiful flowers without even seeing them. But since I was running backward, they burst upon my sight, and then as I ran, grew smaller and smaller. I began to think I'd never see anything so beautiful again. So I stopped and came back. Aren't they wonderful? <coughs> and they smell so sweet. You'll never win the race, Flower. You know, I don't even care. Is that bad? Well, not at all, Flower. You enjoy yourself, but I have to go on. I'm an assistant judge, you know. A little farther down the racetrack, I came upon a strange sight. Toby Tortoise was lying on his back, and Thumper was standing looking at him. I stepped behind a clump of trees where they couldn't see me and listened. <laughs> hey, Toby, how'd you flip your lid? Oh, I tripped over a root and, and went Tail over tea kettle. <laughs> and you were the guy who wanted to have a race. Well, guess I look pretty silly. Huh? You sure do. <laughs> well, so long, Toby. Got some running to do. So Thumper with Floppy still hanging on his back started off down the pathway. Suddenly, Thumper stopped, turned around, and came back to Toby. He gave him a helping paw and turned him right side up. Then he and Floppy were off in a blinding rush. I raced off after them and gave a wave to Toby as I passed him lumbering along. Farther and farther around the woods I flew on the circular race course, but I couldn't catch up to Thumper. Then I found myself in a little woods on the edge of the meadow where the starting and finishing lines were, and off to the side of the path I heard Thumper's voice. Floppy, come here this minute. I did you a favor to let you stop a minute. Try and catch me, Thumpy. Cut it out, Floppy. Don't you understand we're in a race? I don't like races. I don't like riding on your back, you two Bumpity and Thumpity. Please, Floppy. Look, there goes Toby. He's going to win if you don't mind me. Okay, okay. Just let me finish eating this clover blossom. Come on, hurry up. Well, Floppy ate just one too many clover blossoms because despite Thumper's great speed, he wound up at the finish line just one whisker behind Toby Tortoise. Hooray! 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 The winner! Hooray! Quiet, quiet, everyone. Now it is my pleasure to congratulate the winner of the great race and hail the new champion, Toby Tortoise. Hooray! Hooray! Now, let's have a speech from the new champ. Toby? Oh, well, sir, uh, well, there's been a big mistake. Uh, I was out of the race on my back and could never finish when Thumper come along and, and put me to rights. So, uh, uh, he should be the winner. He's the best man, or <laughs> animal, that is. <laughs> I withdraw as winner and I'm proud to be second to Thumper. Hey, yes, hooray for Thumper! Thumper. Hooray, Thumper's hooray, the winner! Hooray, hooray for him! Well, so be it. As official judge, I hereby declare Thumper winner and still champion. Congratulations, Thumper, and give us a speech. Well, oh, I'm speechless. And when I'm speechless, I just thump. <laughs> oh, Thumper! <laughs> If you're down to your last leaf of lettuce 
and it looks like the pool house for you. Go thumpity thump thump, thumpity thump thump thump, and the skies will all turn blue. If you've lunched on your last crunchy carrot, and there's no crunchy carrot in view, go thumpity thump thump, thumpity thump thump thump, and the sun will break right through. That's why a rabbit gets into the habit of thump thump thumping along. That's why a bunny is always so funny when thump thump thumping goes wrong. So the next time you feel kind of grumpy, take a tip from the cottontail crew. Go thumpity thump thump, thumpity thump thump thump, and the world will smile at you. Why a bunny is always so funny when thump, thump, thumping goes wrong. So the next time you feel kind of grumpy, take a tip from the cottontail crew. Go thumpity thump thump, thumpity thump thump thump, and the world will smile at you. Thumpity thump thump, and the world will smile at you.